Welcome to my channel, everyone. Today, let's explore an exciting experiment using bananas to boost the growth of our rose plants. Join us on this journey, and together let's look forward to the wonderful and exciting moments that are waiting just ahead. Let's begin our journey with strong, healthy rose cuttings full of life and ready to grow into something beautiful. Cut each rose stem into sections about 10 to 15 centimeters long. Make sure every cutting has at least two to three leaf nodes. These nodes are essential. Gently remove all the leaves on the cutting, leaving only one or two leaves at the top. Make a clean 45 degree diagonal cut just below a leaf node. This angled cut increases the surface area for rooting and helps the cutting absorb moisture more effectively. After that, gently scrape off the thin outer layer around the dormant bud. This slight wounding helps stimulate root formation and encourages faster growth during propagation. Repeat the same process with the remaining cuttings, ensuring each one is properly prepared for successful rooting. After cutting the stems, we use candle wax to seal the tips of the cuttings. This helps prevent moisture loss protects against infection, and gives the cuttings a better chance to develop healthy roots. When applying the candle wax, drip it carefully onto the cut tip, making sure to avoid the leaves. This prevents burning the foliage while still protecting the cutting. After sealing the cuttings with candle wax, Place them in water for a short period. This helps the cuttings stay hydrated and prepares them for the next step of propagation. Now, we'll prepare a special mixture that both disinfects and gently stimulates root growth for the cut. Ings. First, we use one spoon of turmeric powder. The second ingredient is fresh oats. Add three spoons of fresh oats to the turmeric powder. Finally, add 300 milliliters of water to the mixture and stir well until it becomes a smooth, nourishing solution. When combined, turmeric powder and fresh oats create a powerful natural rooting mixture. Turmeric acts as a natural disinfectant, protecting the cuttings from infections and fungi. While oats provide essential nutrients and gentle stimulation that encourage strong root formation, soak the rose cuttings in the mixture for about one to two hours. Prepare a ripe banana. Next, use a small stick to make holes along the banana. Each small hole will hold one rose cutting. This allows the cuttings to stay upright and absorb nutrients directly from the banana. After soaking in the rooting mixture for one to two hours, Remove the rose cuttings and gently pat the base dry. This ensures the cuttings aren't overly wet, which helps prevent rotting and prepares them for planting or placing into the banana. Next, insert the rose cuttings into the small holes you made on the banana. Make sure each cutting fits snugly and stands upright so it can absorb nutrients effectively.
Now, prepare a pot with good drainage holes. Proper drainage is essential to prevent waterlogging, which can harm the cuttings and slow down root development. Choose loose, well aerated soil for planting the cuttings. This type of soil allows roots to grow easily, ensures proper drainage, and provides the cuttings with enough air and nutrients for healthy development. Place the entire banana, with the rose cuttings inserted, into the prepared pot. Then, cover the banana completely with soil, ensuring all cuttings are well supported and in contact with the soil to absorb nutrients effectively. Gently press the soil around the cuttings. Be careful not to compact it too much, as the roots need space to grow and access air and water. After planting the cuttings, Wait for 24 hours before watering. Use a gentle mist to lightly moisten the soil. There's no need to overwater, as too much moisture can harm the cuttings. After planting the cuttings, place them in a shaded, cool area. Avoid direct sunlight, as strong light can stress the cuttings and hinder root development. Next, carefully cover the cuttings. This helps maintain humidity around them, reducing water loss and creating an ideal environment for root development. After four to six weeks of propagation, here are the results. Look closely at the cuttings and you can see healthy new shoots emerging from the stems. These tiny green buds are full of life, signaling strong growth and the successful development of roots beneath the soil. It's a beautiful sign that the cuttings are thriving and will soon grow into vigorous rose plants. Now, moisten the growing medium and gently lift the rose cuttings to check the development of their root. S. Carefully lift the rose cutting from the soil. Hold it gently by the stem and slowly ease it out to avoid damaging the delicate roots. Take a close look at the roots they have grown thick, healthy, and well branched. Each root is strong, spreading out to absorb water and nutrients efficiently. This vibrant root system is the foundation for a robust rose plant, showing that our propagation method has been highly successful. Now, let's check the banana and see how it has decomposed. Over time, the banana breaks down, releasing nutrients into the soil and providing a natural food source for the rose cuttings, helping them grow stronger and healthier. When the cuttings have grown strong and their roots are well established, it's time to transplant them into larger pots. This gives the plants more space to grow, ensures better nutrient absorption, and supports the development of robust stems and abundant flowers. Gently place the rose cutting into the pot 
spreading its roots naturally into the soy. Take care not to bend or break the delicate roots, ensuring they are well positioned to absorb nutrients and water effectively. Fill soil around the cutting and gently press it down to secure the plant. Be careful not to compact the soil too much, as roots need space to grow and access air and water. And there you have it, our rose cuttings, nurtured with natural ingredients, are now growing strong and healthy. Remember, patience and gentle care are the keys to success. Thank you for joining us on this journey of growth and beauty. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to follow more gardening tips and experiments. See you in the next video.